agrarian at this time in the war. You know, most of these guys come from farms and plantations. They've been raised on horses, pretty much grown up with them the whole lives. They're na they're natural in the saddle. Um, and if they lost a horse, they would generally either become dismounted cavalry or they'd have to go home and uh, and get a new horse. The federal government supplied the Union uh, their horses. And because a lot of the Union guys were, you know, uh, from cities primarily, uh, for the most part, they weren't real accustomed to being on horseback at the beginning of the war. But you got to remember, here at Gettysburg, we're a little over two years into the war. So by this time, the Federal Cavalry, by the time you get to the Battle of uh, Brandy Station on June 9th, about a month before this, uh, the, the Union Cavalry has proven itself uh, now to be the match. Weather conditions, guys, my gosh, it's uh, very, very similar. Uh, it was about 88 degrees and partly sunny, very similar to what we're seeing right now. Michael Jacobs was a college professor at what we call Gettysburg College today. It was called Pennsylvania College. He lived in Gettysburg, he kept, tem kept temperature recordings, and so we know it was about 88 degrees and partly sunny that day. And the battery, uh, really rare. I, I, I don't know if I've ever actually seen that before. If I have, I can't remember too many times. It's kind of neat to see that in the field. And you notice, guys, it takes six horses to carry a cannon. Do you notice how they travel? The cannons are attached to a two-wheel vehicle called a limber. The limber has the ammunition chest that supplies that particular cannon, and they're attached to the march. It took six horses to carry it. And this is historic. The two sides, uh, when the uh, dismounted cavalry fighting started to slacken, the ammunition started to run out, uh, they will head exactly toward each other in a thundering charge. They said the ground just shook. Custer said, inspires his men with, come on you Wolverines. all the bike rides all through the battlefields. Oh. Um, I liked the ghost walk oh. and we all got spooked about that. 
and oh. I like spending the time with some of my family members. Oh, it like me? Wonderful. Like you, of course, <laughs> because I love you. Shall we go see what the birds look are doing? Okay, go check on the birds. Here's the birds. With their beaks open, two of them. Getting ready. ready. That must be the mama bird in there, see? Oh, yeah. Is she big? No, that's a baby, because look at the fuzz on the head. Mama bird would have flown away. There's the birds. Getting ready to poop on somebody's cook. Here's the mama bird. On the corner of the next house, right there in the gutter. See? Oh, Just yeah. Up the roof. Yeah. Okay. Um,